You know, I had no clue what I was getting into with this film, but wow, was this one of my favorite films this year. Folks, we're going to get into my review of the new film, One Night with Adela. What's up, folks, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. Today, we're going to be reviewing the new film, One Night with Adela, which made its world premiere this year at Tribeca Film Festival 2023. And this film can be found under the midnight category, which means, folks, oh, it's a whore. And I had no clue. For whatever reason, I just landed on this film and I was like, you know what? Let's see what this is about. Um, and at some point in the film, I was like, oh, yeah, this this is a horror film. And I'm going to explain it all I'm, I'm going to break it all down, I'm gonna, and I'm going to explain why. Uh, but I got to say, just with that that little tidbit right there, the building of this film is fantastic here because you are kind of blindsided in terms of, like, expectations. Like, there are some things that are kind of cringy really early in the film, but the way how this film just sort of flips on his back is kind of wild here. Um, but even before I go any further... Uh, this film did win Best New Narrative Director um, under the Best New Narrative Director uh, competition category. Uh, and that goes to Hugo Ruiz uh, for this film, One Night with Adela, uh, which is uh, based in out, out of Spain. Uh, but wow. <laughs> Listen here, folks. Let me tell you. Um, our actor here, um, Laura Galan, uh, Galan. Uh, who's from the film Peggy, if you've seen that. Piggy, excuse me, if you've seen that, uh, which is another really good film. <laughs> she is Adela, who is basically uh, doing midnight uh, trash disposal. And, you know, it's a, uh, that job has its labels, but it is what it is. It's a job. But, uh... Adela is a person who loves vices. And with vices, she loves drugs, alcohol, and sex. Fine. No one's shaming. No one's bashing that. All, all normal stuff here, you know? But uh, <laughs> at the same time, too, she is very much out seeking revenge for anybody who's ever done her wrong. And I got to tell you, in the beginning of this film, you are sort of seeing her seeing her being blindsided by just the dangers of her profession and what could possibly happen on any given night. So after one bad night, Adela just decides to just get juiced up on any bit of drugs that she can find. Um, we see this. That's part of the ride itself. Um, and with that, it's just one thing after another. And it's just a, it's a revenge horror film. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and and with that too, I think like, I think the film is just built so good. So much suspense, so much mystery, so much unpredictability. Because there's moments where you just truly don't know where the film's going to go. There's one particular scene where she hires a sex worker. And that scene is definitely not at all what I thought it was going to be. But wow, did my jaw drop at moments of it it's just it's just, it's just a really 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 uh interesting film you know to say the least here uh, laura's fantastic in her performance i think um you just you ride with her the entire time through this trip shall i say uh from the drugs from the music which the music is pretty dope by the way uh, from just the unpredictability and then once you start to predict things or want to predict things you are really left in a moment of just disbelief because just the things that occur in this one night, it's just really wild, really, really, really wild. But nonetheless, um, it tells a good message, uh, which I think the message with this film, and it's not nothing overly deep here, uh, but you just never know who somebody may be, you know, and, 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 and truly... Uh, you, you, there's, there's a level of self-righteousness with this character that you kind of get behind a little bit here. <laughs> I know for me, I was some person, I was like, you know what? Gotta do what you gotta do out here. Um, uh, but at the same time too, I think it's a good horror film because, uh, there's definitely moments where this film is overly brutal 
and and with that you just kind of root for her because yes these are kind of crimes that are being committed but at the same time sometimes folks take justice in their own hand and in this case in terms of a film um you kind of like yeah you know what dude you gotta do um but yeah, again, this is one of my favorite films. I think the biggest thing is because of the performance, because of the pacing, um, and just because of just how good I thought, um, I, I thought the the plot of this film is, and the script too. While it is in subtitles, um, the dialogue I think with a with Adela, you just kind of just really see her become unhinged when when the drugs is in the system ain't no telling you know what i mean and i think that uh just with her and just seeing her just really be off the chain it's just a, a just a wild ride I, and i think i love films like this honestly films where um you know like hardcore henry uh where you know it's a different sort of different genre here but like it's just because of just how unhinged these characters become and we just never see it like de-escalate under no circumstance and in fact the moment you think she's calm is truly the most unpredictable <laughs> moment which is just why it keeps you on the edge of your seat and at the end of the day um the the look she gives you the 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 the, the vast confidence she has in some moments here it's just like wow well you know what it's just a bad night for anybody that crossed her on this one night where she just had it up with everybody so but hey this is a film keep it on your on your watch list keep an eye out for this one night with adela fantastic film making this world premiere this year at tribeca film festival get in the comments folks let me know your thoughts about it once you check it out or if you checked it out and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon